Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a Docker Crash course for Angular and .NET web developer. So in this video, first we are going to create our Docker container file, and then we are going to host. Uh, uh, we are going to create a two-stage build for our uh, Angular application. Stage one will be to build our Angular application using a node, and second stage will be to host it using a ng nginx server. And last, last, we are going to run our Angular application on Docker container using Docker file. So let's open our uh, Angular application with the Visual Code. So let me open my command prompt, and here I can give code, then space, and then dot. So it will open my application with the Visual Code. So let's wait for for it. And now I can see that my application is open using Visual Code. Now at project root, uh, let's create a Docker file. So let's give name as a Docker file, and let's open this file. So let's navigate to Docker Hub, and here I'm going to search for nginx image so let's search it so i can find that nginx image here so let's click on this and uh, let's scroll down so these are the all available version we can see for nginx Let's scroll down. So Nginx is an open source uh, web server. Uh, I am looking for the Docker file sample code. So let me uh, scroll down a little bit more. And here I can find that uh, from Nginx and uh, this so let me copy this and paste it here in our visual code docker file so docker file generally we start uh, with some image so here we are starting from nginx and then we are going to copy our static file directory so this is nothing but uh, our dist folder when we build our angular application it creates one dist folder and under that we have our application folder inside it so i am going to give dist and then hello angular uh yeah so let's save this so this is our stage 2 because our nginx server need our uh, angular files right so let me give command here and let's say it is a stage 2 and now i need to build our angular application so far that uh, I am going to do for stage 1 and this time I am starting for the uh, node image and let's give a version after colon so let's uh, give this lightweight version for node and let me copy this version for nginx server as well so let me copy and paste it here now uh, this is our node image right uh, you can search in the Docker Hub, and these all, uh, these all are the available versions which you can use, right? Uh, now, next thing is I am going to create uh, a work directory. So let me type it here, and here I can define my work directory. So you can give anything. So let me say US then. Yes, I'll see and under the time let's create a to do so this is my work directory now next uh, what I want is I want to copy my package.json file and package.log.json to my work directory because I'm going to install the all the packages before moving other files so let's copy package dot json file and then space package dot log dot json uh, 
where it set to root level of my work directory so let's give it here now what i want is i want to run npm install so this will install packages from my package.json file now next thing is now i want to copy my application look all code to where exactly to my work directory and now i can build my angular application right because my packages is already installed so now i can build so i can give npm run build so this will create one dist folder and under that we will have hello angular folder what we define below for nginx so now we have to define the relation between stage 1 and stage 2 so let's give a name of the stage 1 as a as a node so let's give this name now we have name for our stage 1 so now i can tell my stage 2 so take this from so let me give from here and then i can give the node name and also i need to change uh, this folder path because we have this work directory path right and under that we will have a uh, distant hello angular so let me copy and paste it here so yeah under our work directory i will have dist and then hello angular now one more thing which i want is i don't want to uh, copy my node modules right so let's create our uh, .NET igno uh, docker ignore file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to define node modules path here so by this uh, we can ignore our node modules when i will copy from root so i don't want to copy node modules to my work directory right so now let's build our docker file so docker build the nt for take and then give a name for this so i can give anything so let me give tapan slash to do and to do app and then dot and then enter dot for local path oh so i am getting this error so this capital a was not allowed for this so let me change it to small a and let's enter so now it should start the build process so now we can see that it's a building so we can see uh, now one of the six is uh, each line so we can see we have six line for our node image so three stages are completed for node and now it's running npm install so it will take uh, some time so let's wait for it so here i can see that my both the build is successful uh, we can see this node build and this nginx build so all six uh, uh, stage for our node and two stage for our nginx is successful now next uh, what i can do is I can check for images so let me type docker images and i should see this new image so great i can see uh, this new image here and uh, let's verify the same image uh, in our docker dashboard so let me open from here so i can see dashboard so let me open it so i can see this our new image so now let's try to run this so let me click on run and we have this optional settings here so let me define a port here maybe 9000 and uh, uh, let's leave it here and uh, let's run so it's created and now let's wait to now it's running so i can navigate now to browser and uh, go to localhost 900 and let me enter so 
so great I'm able to browse my angular application using a docker so now uh, I came back to uh, docker dashboard and let me try to stop it so I clicked on stop and now it's stopped now let's refresh our browser page so I should not able to browse it now so now in the next video we are going to create uh, one docker file for dotnet 5 web api project and it's using a postgresql so that's all for this video thank you for watching